All right, welcome back everybody. If this is your first time, I'm Dr. Ford, and my channel is all about learning everything regarding babies. Uh, you can see it from a health professional standpoint and also from a parent standpoint. Now, today's video is actually really special. I have a good friend of mine, Dr. Scott Guthrie, and Dr. Scott Guthrie, along with Dr. Kerry Roberts and myself, we coined the term salsa, where you can give surfactant through an LMA or laryngeal mask airway. Now, it's been studied in small studies. Uh, Dr. Kerry Roberts did the largest study, and we basically wanted to come up with a term that could uh, put all the definitions together in this type of technique. So you can actually uh, look at the video that I created on salsa, but Dr. Scott Grothery also created a really cool video and I really want to post it on this channel so everybody could see. For those Spanish speakers, I will be creating uh, a Spanish speaking uh, salsa video as well for you guys to enjoy. So again, thank you for joining my channel. As usual, if you really like this stuff, go ahead and click like. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe. That way you can get more uh, videos like this. At the end, I'm gonna go ahead and put some other videos you can see regarding uh, my channel and any links in the bottom uh, regarding information on Salsa. And so thank you again for watching. Enjoy this video and I'll see you guys real soon. Take care. I want to take a minute and uh, teach you how to administer uh, surfactant using the Salsa technique in a, in a very uh, simple way using some very simple equipment. So we're going to imagine that we have our little baby here and he's got respiratory distress syndrome and working hard to breathe. We've contained him nicely. We've got him on CPAP. So we're going to pretend that he's on the complete CPAP device, but the CPAP is in place, giving him the pressure that he needs to stabilize his alveoli. And we've determined at this point, we need to give him surfactant. So in order to do the salsa technique, you first off need your surfactant. Next, you need some type of laryngeal mask airway or supraglottic airway device. I'm gonna demonstrate two of these here. We're gonna only use one of them to do this. We have a traditional laryngeal mask airway that you have to push air into the cuff uh, so you get a good seal. And we have the eye gel supraglottic airway device that has a thermoplastic end that heats up uh, to form a seal in a human being. Doesn't work so good in our mannequin, but uh, is excellent in real life. Next you need some type of tubing to deliver the surfactant through. I like to use the T connector because that is almost the absolute perfect size uh, to uh, give the surfactant. So we're going to go ahead and demonstrate how we do that and cut it just right. So connect that to our surfactant. We're going to make a nice little cut at the end right here. And now we have a piece of tubing that perfectly fits down our supraglottic airway so we can give the surfactant. You can also use some other type of tubing such as feeding a feeding tube. And again, you just want to cut that in just the right place. Uh, so if you decide you want to use some tubing like this, that it doesn't go all the way down your device, but sort of stops right near the end there. So I've got it just a little too long. So if we were gonna use this, we would cut it a little more and that would probably be just perfect. All right, next we need some type of uh, device uh, to help us give uh, pressure uh, while we are doing this, whether you, you wanna use PEEP only or you wanna give PIP as well. We have three different examples here, just the uh, traditional self-inflating bag. Uh, we've got a flow inflating bag we could use too. If we're set up to use that in our neonatal intensive care unit and in this case uh, with our our simulation here we're going to use a two-piece uh, resuscitator uh, to help this baby all right so give you the surfactant and i'm going to take the laryngeal mask airway one of the optional things to do uh, to actually make sure you have good placement is using a uh, co2 detector and we're going to demonstrate how to do this. You don't have to use this in every situation if you're not, if these aren't readily available, uh, but they are a good thing to do. So we're going to leave the CPAP in place. As we do this, you don't need to remove the CPAP. That's just another step. If the baby had an OG in place, which typically they would while they're receiving CPAP, 
Uh, you can remove that or you can choose to leave that in place too. Uh, we'll open the baby's mouth. You may need to take uh, your, your finger to sort of stabilize the tongue. Typically there's gonna be secretions in the, in the baby's throat and this device will go in very easily. But you wanna stabilize the tongue. Begin with the device going toward the nose and right before you get to the nose, place it on the hard palate and then begin to push back. You may meet some slight resistance right at the back of the tongue. And if you do, just continue pressing a little further till it pops down and pops into place. Once it has popped into place, you can just sort of give it a nice little push and you may feel it bounce up and down a little bit and then you know you're in a good position. If you want to check your position and you do have these CO2 detectors available, you can uh, place one of those on and then give breaths and make sure you see color change. And typically in a real human being, you're going to see this turn yellow, noting that you've got your uh, superglottic airway device uh, in the right place. So we're going to assume that that's yellow and now we're happy and we're going to give our surfactant. You'll pull that off right there. And if you'll place the tube down. And so she's, we're going to begin by just giving one to two milliliters of the surfactant. This device itself will hold about two milliliters. Perfect. Just two milliliters. And you may see it fill up and she's going to remove that. And then I'm going to place the pressure back on. And right now we're just giving PEEP and that may work to uh, push the surfactant down into the lungs. You may need to give a couple of breaths. Again, in our mannequin, we're not going to see the pressure gauge move because it doesn't quite form a seal like it does in a human. But you may want to give a couple breaths, make sure the surfactant has cleared the device and we'll give another two milliliters of surfactant. Perfect. Again, connecting our device, allowing that surfactant to go down into the lungs, maybe giving a couple breaths if you need to. And we'll go ahead and complete our surfactant dosage at this time. It's concerning the surfactant dosage, you'll give the traditional amount that you would, whether you, if you, as if you were giving it through an endotracheal tube. Again, we'll give that time for the surfactant to push down into the lungs a little bit longer maybe on uh, our last bolus of surfactant. And once we feel that that's in place, we'll pull, check and make sure no surfactant's coming out and then pull the device. Before you pull the device, make sure you have suction checked up or suction hooked up Occasionally, uh, you may have some surfactant come out of the baby's mouth, just like you can sometimes with an endotracheal tube. And, and the device is pulled, and now the baby is stabilized and on CPAP and has received their dose of surfactant in a minimally invasive way using the salsa technique. Give another two milliliters of surfactant. Perfect. Again, connecting our device, allowing that surfactant to go down into the lungs, maybe giving a couple breaths if you need to. And we'll go ahead and complete our surfactant doses at this time. It's concerning the surfactant dosage, you'll give the traditional amount that you would, whether you, if you, as if you were giving it through an endotracheal tube. Again, we'll give that time for the surfactant to push down into the lungs a little bit longer, maybe, on uh, our last bolus of surfactant. And once we feel that that's in place. We'll pull, check and make sure no surfactant's coming out, and then pull the device. Before you pull the device, make sure you have suction checked up, or suction hooked up. Occasionally, uh, you may have some surfactant come out of the baby's mouth, just like you can sometimes with an endotracheal tube. And, and the device is pulled, 
And now the baby is stabilized and on CPAP and has received their dose of surfactant in a minimally invasive way using this also technique.